A very good evening to one and all. My name is Tintumol Joseph. I'm a voiceover artist and I consider it a privilege and honor to call myself a friend of Deepalaya. I'm your host for the virtual inaugural program of the one month citizen journalism course offered by Deepalaya in association with the McKendish Phillips Journalism Institute at the King's College, New York, USA from today. Let's begin this inaugural program by invoking the blessings of the Almighty. The students of the Palaya School Kalkaji Extension will lead us in prayer. We were unable to invite all the choir members to this program. Welcome dear children. Thank you, children. Mr. A.J. Philip, Secretary and Chief Executive of Dipalaya, held the post of the President of Dipalaya for about 18 years. He is an eminent journalist, having held high editorial positions in many leading newspapers. He is a visiting faculty at Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. He also serves as the manager of Dipalaya School, Kalkaji Extension, New Delhi, and chairman of Dipalaya School, Gusbeti, Haryana. I now request Mr. A.J. Philip. Secretary and Chief Executive of Dipalaya to welcome all our guests, faculty, well-wishers and friends of Dipalaya to this event. Mr. A.J. Philip is one of the faculty members of this citizen journalism course and I'm sure the participants will be able to learn a lot from such an eminent journalist like him. Why we decided to start this course? A few years ago, if one had to become a journalist, he had to be a graduate then you have to do a diploma course in journalism and then join a newspaper organization or a television company. Today, if you have a mobile phone, you can become the proofreader, editor, sub-editor, special correspondent, editor, publisher, in fact, all in all. And you can also own, the, own a television studio. All this is possible. While this is good, it is unfortunate that many of the practitioners of citizen journalism do not know much about journalism. So we thought we should start a course to enable people, and to enable the citizens to become good citizen journalists. And when we thought about this program, 
the one name that came to my mind was Professor Om Jerry Annan Pillai. Some 50 years ago, he went to the US to do a course in communication and he came back, joined the Indian Institute of Mass Communication where he taught and later on he joined Bharati Vidya Bhavan. At that time, there was no university offering such a course in India. So, when we requested Professor Ram Jerry to inaugurate this course, he gladly accepted it and I am very happy and uh, I welcome Professor Ram Jerry Annan Pillai to this August gathering. One of our close friends is Professor Mohammed Asla. When we discussed this program, he was very supportive and he knows Deepadaya very well as he has visited our school at Guzbeti and he encouraged our students in many ways. He was once the Vice Chancellor of Indira Gandhi National Open University which is the world's largest such university. I am very happy that he has accepted our invitation to be the Chief Guest today. I welcome Mr. Aslam to this meeting. When we thought of this program, we thought of having it some tie up with some university offering journalism course. One name that came to my mind was the McClendish Phillips Institute of Journalism at the King's College in New York. Its director, Mr. Paul Gladder, is a friend of mine. I once had the occasion to visit the college and I was greatly impressed by the infrastructure that they have. So when I approached him, he was very happy to hear about my proposal and he gladly accepted our invitation to align with our to align themselves with us. I am very glad that he is attending this program and he will be felicitating us on this occasion. Mr. S. K. Dua doesn't need any introduction. He was the editor of four newspapers like the Times of India, the Indian Express, the Hindustan Times and the Tribune. He is a friend of Deepalaya. When we, set, when we constructed our school building in Kusbeti in Haryana, he came forward with a liberal funding from the MB Lads Fund at that time because he was an MB at that time. I am very happy that Mr. Dua is participating in this meeting and he is felicitating us on this occasion. Dr. Suresh Matthew is a friend of mine and he is also the editor of Indian Currents. That way he is my editor because I write a column there. I am very happy and I welcome Dr. Suresh Matthew to this meeting to felicitate the Vale. Three of our board members, Mr. Shaji P. John, Mrs. Regini Thompson and Dr. George John are attending this function and they will be felicitating us on this occasion. I welcome all of them to this meeting. Dr. Jay Krishnan was once the Vice Chancellor of Kerala and Cochin Universities and he retired from the IIT Chennai as professor and I am very happy that he is attending this meeting and he will be felicitating us on this occasion. Dr. Jay Krishnan is also a good friend of Deepalaya and he has been helping Deepalaya in many ways. A course will be known or a course will be dependent upon the kind of people who will be taking classes. We are very happy that we have a panel of 12 faculty members who have distinguished themselves in their own fields. And I am very happy and I welcome all of them. To begin with, Mr. Mohan Shivanan, Mr. Sugumar Murali Dharan, Dr. S. Faisi, Mr. Mary Das John, Mr. Ms. Jennifer Arul, Commodore Lokesh Bhatra, Ms. Chetana Kir, Mr. Vishal Arora, Mr. Ravi Pahuja, Ms. Reema Anand, Ms. Jesson Kaur and Mr. Kumarasamy. They will be introducing themselves later in the program. So I want I am not spending much time on the on that. I welcome all of them to this program. I must also mention that this program would have been would not be very colorful without the participation of the children of our school at, Gus at Kalkaji Extension and our learning center, learning center at Titron in Saharanpur district in Uttar Pradesh. They will be entertaining us, us on this occasion. I welcome all of them to this function and we all, sub we all hope that you will continue to support us in running this program. 
which will be beneficial to many of uh, many of the citizens of this country thank you thank you sir and a warm welcome to you too professor omcheri nn pillai is a very well known figure in literary and academic circles in new delhi he is a non nigerian and a great communicator who coined the slogan garibi hatao for mrs indira gandhi which helped her to come back to power in 1971 it is an honor to have professor omcheri nn pillai with us to inaugurate the one month course in citizen journalism i request omcheri sir to deliver the inaugural address i congratulate dibalaya for launching a very commendable course a citizen journalism in fact it is serving a felt need there are so many young people who would like to do freelance journalism but who don't have any proper guidance and they don't have the time or other facilities to take a formal journalism course and those who want to cut short that and enter into the field of journalism stage as citizen journalism they are doing stories of impact impactful stories and they go to the media print media perhaps and they are accepted by the print media because of the impact that it would create among the readers or audience and how to gather information how to move it, how to analyze information and how to process it and how to put in the form of a story this is what the process the whole thing means and dibalaya in this certificate course assures a formal training and equip them equip the students to become journalists who can write stories of impact and uh, i can translate with he jp le who combine himself both a former journalist who occupied high positions in newspapers and also a freelance journalist at refute and he is the most suitable person to do a job like this as he combines both and all his stories were accepted because of the impact it made and uh, all the media not only newspaper media all the media for which he contributed they had appreciated the impact it made thank you omcheri sir for your constant support and encouragement in all the endeavors of dipalaya we have with us professor mohammad aslam former vice chancellor of igno as mr philip mentioned he is a friend of dipalaya he is our chief guest for the inaugural ceremony i request professor aslam to address the gathering greetings to all of you i am grateful to dipalaya in general and mr aj flips in particular for providing me an opportunity to interact with all of you who are associated with the planning and designing of this four week course on citizen journalism the main objective of this four week course seems to be to train people as how to do impactful stories and in the process create their own identity we all know that we are living today in a virtual world and the lockdown dictated by covid-19 has further accelerated this process our over dependence on 
information technology has become a necessity of life. On the one hand, our households have turned into schools, colleges and universities. On the other hand, we witness that social media has invaded almost every household in the country. It is now used also sometimes as one of the tools for governance and also to play politics. In this whole scenario, media has assumed tremendous importance, but unfortunately, it has failed to remain unbiased and neutral. To be honest, many people, many people have stopped watching television, news bulletins accompanied by bias stories, and even reading newspapers. We also witness social media getting associated with an increased prevalence of many negative emotions and mental health issues. In this background, I feel that citizen journalism assumes great significance. In restoring, perhaps, the lost dignity of media and, and also to help social media to become a useful tool for social interaction and behavioral modifications. With enlightened and experienced faculty, which is a mix of academicians and senior journalists, and the envisaged collaboration with some of the best institutions in the world, I have no doubt in my mind that this civil society initiative of Dipalia will prove to be a milestone in the field of journalism. I have great pleasure and I wish this program all success. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. Titro is a small village in Saharanpur district in Uttar Pradesh. Dipalia runs a learning center there too. Some of our students from the center will be presenting a folk dance for us. I hope you will enjoy the performance.
thank you children for that wonderful performance. As you know, the Citizen Journalism course is run in collaboration with the McKendish Phillips Journalism Institute at the King's College, New York, USA. Dr. Paul Glader is the Executive Director of the Media Project and the Institute. I request Dr. Glader to deliver the felicitation speech. Hello friends in India, I'm Paul Gladder from the McCandlish Phillips Journalism Institute at the King's College in New York City as well as Executive Director of The Media Project, which is a global network of journalists around the world and we publish the religionunplugged.com nonprofit news outlet. Anyways, we are delighted to hear about this program with Deepalaya and Mr. A.J. Phillip and all these other wonderful faculty members that are, is developing there in India and we wish the program all the best. We are disappointed that some of us from the U.S. and other places can't be there with you as you start this program, but we are delighted to have Vishal Arroya and Jennifer Arul, two of our Media Project board members um, who are, are in India, connected to the program. Uh, we are excited for you. We wish you all the best. This program is needed, and we look forward to staying in touch. So best wishes to Deepalaya. Thank you, sir, for your words of encouragement and this privileged association. Mr. H.K. Dua is a veteran editor and the former ambassador in Denmark and a member of the Rajya Sabha. He is also a close associate of Deepalaya. I request Mr. Dua to speak a few words on this occasion. I am very happy to be associated with this venture to train citizen journalists. journalism as well as social media. They can give the eyewitness accounts to various towns, small towns, big cities, as well as in the villages, which is often it was unreported. They can report what is unreported in India for the world of the country as well as for the world. And mobile with everyone now. Thank you, Mr. H. K. Dua. Dr. Suresh Matthew is the editor of the Indian Currents and a well wisher of Deepalaya. I request Dr. Suresh Matthew to felicitate Deepalaya on this inaugural ceremony. Glad to know that Deepalaya is organizing one month certificate course in citizen journalism. Today, social media has become an easy tool to spread hatred and rumors. It is estimated that 20 crore people in India use WhatsApp. Even if a minuscule of them forward fake news, it can create havoc in the society. Hence, it is imperative that we train people to become communicators of authentic information. Congratulations to the Palaya and good luck to the students. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Suresh Matthew. I request Mr. Shaji Pijon, Treasurer of Deepalaya, to speak a few words to felicitate Deepalaya. I'm thrilled to learn about the new venture of Deepalaya. Over the last 40 plus years of service to local communities and the country, Deepalaya has ventured into different service sectors and humanitarian projects. The time may have now come 
to make a difference in journalism. As a start, it is now making a foray into offering a course in citizen journalism. The Palaya is launching a short-term course, which comes at a time when the fourth estate, as it is commonly known, is under sustained pressure. This one-month course would enable anyone undergoing it to learn the different facets of being a citizen journalist. A significant part of any academic program is the faculty on its role. I have interacted with the faculty and they consist of Indian as well as people with international exposures. They could be termed as the best within the country and have exceptional domain expertise. I'm sure the citizen journalists who undergo this well-structured course bring out to the public domain issues concerning the common man, the public at large, and the local communities in an objective and fearless manner. I hope each citizen journalist undergoing the program turn out to be an asset to the community and the journalist fraternity. I wish the Palaya the very best in their latest venture and a bright future for all the future citizen journalists. Thank you, Mr. Shaji P. John. Mrs. Rajani Thompson is an engineer by profession and a member of the executive committee of the Palaya. I invite her to say a few words to felicitate the Palaya. Greetings to all. Great to know that the Palaya is shortly going to launch an online certificate course in citizen journalism. In this digital age, if you see, the demand for citizen journalists is increasing day by day. The citizen journalists are more accessible to people worldwide with the invention of new media technology such as social network and cellular phones. Due to the availability of technology, citizen journalists can often report breaking news more quickly than the traditional reporters. I am sure that this dynamic program will definitely enhance the skills of the students to become competent citizen journalists. My heartiest congratulations to Deepalaya and best wishes to all the students. Thank you Mrs. Rajni Thompson. Dr. George John is a former Vice Chancellor of Ranchi Agricultural University. He is a member of the Executive Committee of the Palaya too. I request Dr. George to deliver the felicitation speech. My name is George John. At the outset, let me congratulate the Palaya for putting together this excellent course on citizen journalism. This course, I believe, would be empowering the participants to address issues that are quite often ignored and missed by most of us. It will be a good tool to reach the unreached. The citizen journalists would also be a kind of conscience keepers, and I'm sure that they will bring to the attention of public those issues that are missed by most of us. There are, of course, ethical issues involved in carrying out a course like this, and I'm sure that the designers of the course have taken care of this. The faculty, I believe, is excellent, drawn from leading institutions in India and abroad. And the participants, I'm sure, will find it a very rewarding experience to undergo this course. I compliment and congratulate the Palaya and the entire team, especially Mr. A.J. Philip, for putting together this wonderful course. My very best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. George John. I'm sure some of you, if not all, would be bored listening to the speeches. To bring you out of the boredom, the children of Deepalaya Learning Center, Titro Saharanpur, will be presenting a Nazm. Sonia 
नियत सुनाओ पया में इंसानियत सुनाओ सब हिंदू मुस्लिम है भाई भाई सब हिंदू मुस्लिम है भाई भाई के खून सब का है एक जैसा के खून सब का है एक जैसा लहू भी एक सा वतन भी एक सा लहू भी एक सा वतन भी एक सा तो दुश्मनी का ये दौर कैसा तो दुश्मनी का ये दौर कैसा अमन में आओ गले लगाओ अमन में आओ गले लगाओ पया में इंसानियत सुनाओ पया में इंसानियत सुनाओ ये नफरतों के महल गिराओ ये नफरतों के महल गिराओ पया में इंसानियत सुनाओ पया में इंसानियत सुनाओ Thank you dear students that was indeed a beautiful performance Dr Jay Krishnan is a good friend of Deepalaya He was the former vice chancellor of the University of Kerala and Cochin University of Science and Technology I request him to address us on this proud moment I am very happy to note that Deepalaya is conducting an online citizens journalism course in association with uh, McCandish Phillips Journalism Institute of King's College New York This is indeed a very interesting venture by Deepalaya since the mainstream media these days often suppress or underreport certain news that are vital to our lives uh many news media channels in YouTube have sprung up these days often act as a rectifying force to the mainstream media in fact they do a better analysis of certain news compared to what the mainstream media does and uh, the opportunities for citizen journalism is expanding these days considerably and to impart the basic skills in journalism to those who are interested in reporting the voices of the voiceless assumes great importance i wish dibalia all success in this venture and i congratulate sri ajay philip the ceo of dibalia for taking up this initiative once again all the best wishes thank you thank you dr jay krishnan the quality of a university is as good as the teachers who teach there the one month course in citizen journalism has a formidable faculty they will now be introducing themselves to you a warm welcome to mr mohan shivanand hello i'm mohan shivanand this must be the first time i've made any video of myself and this is also the first time i've been asked to take any class online you already read about who i am and what i did so let me get on to what's important i thought i'd never been a citizen journalist but after i was asked to teach here i got thinking and realized that that's how my career started in my college days my main job was writing letters to editors and some of them got published to my surprise in those days newspapers gave a lot of space to readers views and now that i'm retired about the only place i write anything on is facebook i have another career on the side i paint i do oil paintings something i've been doing since since my childhood anyway i continue to inform people about safety about financial matters like not getting cheated online i comment on some current affairs the best thing about writing on social media is or being a citizen journalist is you don't have to go to work you don't have to go to any office you don't have an, you don't have an editor to correct your sentences anyway more about all that later thank you thank you sir a hearty welcome to professor sukumar muralidharan good evening I extend my congratulations to the palaya for commencing this course on a on a skill which is very important for our times and i and i wish the organizers and the participants all success my name is sukumar murlidharan i am a 
teacher at the OP Jindal Global University just north of Delhi here in Sonipat. And prior to taking up this assignment, I was a fellow at the Indian Institute of Advanced Study in Shimla. Uh, even before that, I was a journalist. I was a journalist for a full quarter century in the print media. And for about six years, I worked as a journalism trainer and uh, a media freedom campaigner in uh, South Asia. I was representing an international body. So uh, that job took me to various parts of this country and the subcontinent. Uh, I would be teaching a course on uh, neutrality in uh, news reporting and uh, fact-based reporting. These are, of course, uh, terms that are often used, but uh, nobody has a very clear understanding of what they mean. And especially now with the uh, proliferation of media sources, it's very important for us to get a, a proper handle on these. So I look forward to interacting with you and let's hope that we get some very good and useful work done. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Welcome, Dr. S. Faizi. Hello, I'm Dr. S. Faizi. I'm an environmentalist. I also contribute to the media on environment and global issues. I've been working abroad with some international agencies. I'm now based at Tivantrum. I look forward to closely interacting with you in the coming days. And all of you, please take care in the COVID season. Thank you, sir. We are delighted to welcome Mr. Mary Dasan John. I am Mary Dasan John, a former senior assistant editor with the Hindu. In my 35 years as a professional journalist, I was mostly editing stories. Apart from spending a few years as a reporter, presently I am a guest faculty with a couple of journalism institutes and colleges. One of the topics I will be handling will be how to help the students to find out the newsworthiness of stories and what are the principles and parameters for it. Once the stories are identified, the next step is to communicate them the most effective way. It is not the length of the communication that is important, but its depth and clarity and what should be done to achieve it. My method of teaching will be through PowerPoint presentation and I will be explaining every point with examples. My best wishes to Dibalaya for initiating this course which is a need of the hour. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A heartfelt welcome to Miss Jennifer Arul. Hi. My name is Jennifer Arul and I'm really delighted to see that Dipalia is doing this course for citizen journalists. And what's more, to be doing it on the virtual platform really makes it very interesting. Citizen journalism is very important. It's not just a question of telling the story, it's how you're going to tell it. And there are lots of different rules and there are rules that need to be followed. I'm extremely happy that I can share of my experience and for me too, it's a very interesting prospect because it's a new experience for me as it will be for all those who are attending this course. And I do hope that you're going to join me. My class is on the 15th of September at six o'clock in the evening. So I'll see you there. Until then, you take care. Thank you, ma'am. A warm welcome to Commodore Lokesh Batra. Hearty welcome to Ms. Chetana Keer. Hello, I'm Chetana Keer. I'm the author of the book Trolitically Incorrect. I'm a columnist with Hindustan Times doing the humor column, Vichirati. I'm a social media satirist at the Kushwan Singh Humor Fest 2020 and a participant at TED Circles Conversations 2020. Before that, I've clocked almost 25 years as a features journalist and lifestyle editor with leading publications like the Tribune, Hindustan Times, India Today, Simply Punjabi and others. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate Team Dipalia, led by Mr. A.G. Philip, 
on this meaningful initiative of a citizen journalist course in collaboration with the McCandlish Phillips Journalism Institute at the King's College, New York, USA. The course is meant to be an overview of what it takes to be a writer, blogger, a citizen journalist and do fact-based reportage in these digital times. So looking forward to having professionals from all walks of life, aspiring bloggers, writers and journalists on board this course. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. A warmest welcome to Mr. Vishal Arora. A hearty welcome to Mr. Ravi Pahuja. My name is Ravi Pahuja. I am an alumnus of Dipalaya and currently working as a digital marketing officer at Dipalaya. In the year 2011, I was part of the United States Students Exchange Program. I attended Northeast Wisconsin Technical College on the US government's Fulbright Scholarship Program. At NWTC, I learned filmmaking, photography and web designing. After coming back, I joined Dipalaya and since then I was handling multiple assignments in the field of multimedia and digital marketing. I am very happy that Dipalaya started this course in citizen journalism. It will serve the needs of the society. This course will create a team of citizen journalists who will build a new community of responsible media professionals. My best wishes with all the participants and the wonderful people at Dipalaya. Thank you, sir. We are delighted to welcome Ms. Reema Anand. Hi, I am Reema Anand, a journalist, writer, and a filmmaker, and an activist. I'm a published award-winning author with more than 10 published titles, and a filmmaker with more than 13 movies and biopics. I also run an NGO called Hope of Charitable um, Society, which mainly caters to the requirements and upliftment of the survivors of the 1984 Delhi riots. I congratulate Vipalya and Mr. A.G. Phillips for starting such a um, innovative program, the course of citizen journalism. I wish them all the best. Thank you, ma'am. A warm welcome to Ms. Jaswant Kaur. Hello all, I am Jaswan Kaur, a company secretary by profession and writer by heart. I now work with Dipalaya as the executive director. Dipalaya has come up with this unique certificate course in citizen journalism. From writing to blogging, to writing on social media, to refining a pitch for getting published, everything is in this course. I am being given the opportunity of touching upon the legal aspects of citizen journalism, what all we should take care of while uh, publishing on social media, while writing blogs. This is my responsibility and I am really grateful to Philip sir for having me as one of the faculties for this course and I am really excited to be to meeting you all soon. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. Once again, a warm welcome to all the faculty members of the Citizen Journalism course. I am sure the participants are lucky to have each one of them on board for this course. Last but not the least, we are happy to inform you that our students of Deepalaya School at Gusbeti, Haryana have been upgraded to higher secondary school a few days ago. Some of these students will be presenting a dance performance. <laughs>
Thank you, dear students. That was indeed a beautiful dance. I request Mr. Kumar Swami, the course coordinator of the Citizen Journalism course, to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is with immense pleasure that I propose a vote of thanks on the occasion of the launch of the certificate course in Citizen Journalism by Deepalaya. I would like to start by thanking our school children and their teachers from Kalkaji Extension, Titron and Gusbati for their dance and prayer programs for the evening. I wholeheartedly thank Professor Om Chari Anand Pillai for inaugurating the course. Thank you Professor M. Aslam for gracing the occasion as the chief guest. My sincere thanks to Mr. A.J. Philip, the moving force behind this certificate course. Thank you, McCandish Phillips Journalism Institute at the King's College, New York, for the association. Thank you, Ms. H.K. Dua, Father Suresh Matthew, Mr. Shaji P. John, Madam Rajini Thomas, Dr. George John, Dr. Jay Krishnan, and Dr. Paul Glader for gracing the occasion. Special thanks to our faculty members who first agreed to be part of this course and the inauguration. Thank you Ravi Pahuja and Jaswan Kaur for working tirelessly while putting this program together. I would also like to thank all our staff members who are working with the single aim of making this course a great success. I hope it will be a path-breaking course and our Participants will find it extremely useful in the journalistic endeavors. I wish you all the best. Thank you and good night. Thank you, sir. I thank our wonderful audience for being a part of this virtual inaugural program for the Citizen Journalism course. Your continued support is our strength. I request Mr. Himanshu Anand, our choir teacher at the Palaya Learning Centers, to sing the national anthem. Thank you, Mr. Himanshu Anand. With that, we have come to the end of this inaugural program. We hope the Citizen Journalism course will be a huge success and a beginning of many such programs under Deepalaya. Our sincere gratitude to all our guests, faculty members, participants and our well-wishers. We thank all our friends and family for being a part of this virtual inaugural program. Thank you for your continued support. Stay safe. Good night. Thank you.